Now to those possible cuts at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base after the Super Committee fails to reach an agreement. The committee was part of a law passed in August. That's with Senator Rob Portman serving as the only Ohio lawmaker on board. It was supposed to find $1.2 trillion in cuts to reduce the national debt. But since the committee could not come to a decision, automatic cuts will begin in the year 2013. Among those programs for education, agriculture, and Medicare. And perhaps the biggest cut? $600 billion to the defense budget, meaning Wright Pat could take a big hit. We sent Jordan Burgess to look at the possible cuts. Jordan joins us live with what he found. Everybody I've talked with tells me they don't know exactly what the cuts at Wright Pat will be at this point. They just know they'll be bad. So we've looked into some of the ripple effects they could have as those who do business with the base also feel the pain. Just like with the failure of the super committee, this is another rainy day these defense contractors can't prevent. But in both cases, they can have an umbrella ready to keep from getting soaked. You can shake your head all day long, but that's not going to help anything. We have to come up with solutions and answers. The super committee's failure to come up with a plan means the Defense Department has to make cuts, which means right, Pat will have to make cuts, which means those companies that do work for the base will likely have their contracts cut. I think everybody's worried. I mean, it's, it's been a tough year. But those with Dayton Defense, which is made up of companies who contract with the base, say they have plans in mind to offset any cuts they could face. The answer is that we have to proactively look at what a worst case scenario would mean for us and what we can do to come out of it okay. Right now, local companies only get 2% of the billions of dollars doled out by Wright Pat. Dayton Defense feels if it can nudge that number up by a few percentage points, companies could be shielded from much of the budget fallout. People who are currently winning bids, what can we do to help them so they can maybe win more? Maybe education of companies in Ohio that sell goods and services that the Department of Defense would want to buy and helping them learn how to get into this industry. And those I talk with say the issue isn't just an economic one, but also one that could impact our national security because of the cuts the military will likely have to make. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.